Well, Singapore has launched a $23.5 million program to examine the long-term impact of climate change on the island state. The program will fund studies to evaluate climate risks and implications. It also help find ways to respond and adapt to future warming scenarios and their impact on our sea levels, our water and our food resources and our health. Melissa Goh tells us more. Severe flooding in countries like China and Australia. Heavier rain and higher temperatures in Singapore as well. To respond and adapt to these increasing threats, the country is harnessing the power of science. We must also understand the multifaceted effects of climate change on our societies and way of life. The CISR program will provide 23.5 million Singapore dollars in funding for research into key knowledge gaps on climate impacts, such as food insecurity. Announcing the five-year program at the Sea Level 2022 conference, Ms Fu says assessing how higher temperatures could impact harvests would allow the country to strengthen its food resilience. With new climate-resilient crop varieties or more suitable habitats for aquaculture. The research will also look at the implications of the urban heat island effect. Singapore as a low-lying country with one of the highest population densities in the world is especially vulnerable to the impacts of climate change. The program will look to tap on complex climate data to understand how changes could impact the human body. For example, how to manage heat as temperatures rise in this dense urban cityscape. Urban heat from the city itself is, is contributing probably more actually than, than the, uh, the, the climate change itself. But we need to put all that together and work with those who are already planning the future of the city and use that data to try and build models of future Singapore, you know, computer simulations of where we might put the parks, how tall we might build the buildings, and, and use, use our climate data to understand what it feels like to be in Singapore in 2050. About 15 to 20 projects are expected, focusing on food security, human health, sea level rise, water resource, and on translating science to policy. Experts say it's important to balance both cutting and curbing emissions with adaptation. The World Meteorological Organization says it's a 50-50 chance that temperatures could temporarily breach 1.5 degrees in the next five years. A figure beyond which experts say climate impacts will become increasingly harmful for people. If we don't mitigate, we will not be able to hold temperature limits like 1.5 degree. Um, but at the same time, we know climate is changing and it will change further. And so the adaptation is also not an option. Uh, we have to really ab approach both. Singapore says there are opportunities for the world to collaborate and decarbonize. To help countries plan and adapt to climate change, it will contribute more detailed projections for Southeast Asia.